What is going on everyone? Welcome to another very exciting episode right here on the MI Gardener channel. I am so excited for today's episode because it's not gonna be a long one, but I think it's gonna help a lot of you out, particularly those that are really struggling on telling when it's time to harvest your winter squash. Now winter squash can be kind of tricky, but once you know when to harvest, it's actually really simple. And that's what we're gonna cover in today's episode. Now, winter squash differ from summer squash in that they have a much harder skin on the outside. And I know that's obviously kind of, that's kind of your entry level knowledge that summer squash are summer squash because they're meant to be eaten fresh, early and young when the squash are still uh, you know, very small and, and tender. Compare that to winter squash. Winter squash, you let just sit on the vine. They seem to just kind of sit in your garden all season long. And people scratch their head and say, all right, I know these are winter squash because they're meant to be storage squash. I don't harvest them young. I don't harvest them immature, but can I leave them on too long? Is there, you know, is there a way I can tell when they're ready? Are they done at a certain point? Just help me out here. So that's what we're gonna cover in today's episode because they are a little tricky and there are some nuance to winter squash. But like I said, once you understand how to harvest them and the signs to look for, they're very, very simple. I like to compare winter squash and summer squash to cheeses. So a soft cheese is like a summer squash. They don't have a very hard skin. They are soft, they're very tender. They rot very quickly. Therefore, they need to be consumed very quickly. Compare that to a hard cheese. Hard cheeses have a skin and that skin protects them from things like mold and aging so you can keep them much longer. Hard cheeses are like winter squash. Winter squash have a hard skin that protects them from things like dehydration, pests, mold and rot and whatnot, so they can last a whole lot longer as well. So when you look at cheeses, if you know cheese, if you don't know cheese, well then we're just on a wild tangent, but having this base level knowledge, well, it'll help you with your cheese knowledge too, but, but in order to, uh, to preserve a cheese long enough to have it be a hard cheese, you have to let it build its skin much like winter squash, you have to be able to build its skin. So knowing this, the longer you leave them on the vine, the harder the skin will get. All right, so I have some butternut squash here and uh, I just picked these about a week ago and that's actually what prompted this video was when I was harvesting them, a bunch of people started commenting saying that they had no clue to tell, uh, how to tell when their squash were ready. And so I said, you know what? That'd be a good quick video. So. I do read the comments, believe it or not. I do read the comments on every single video. So when in doubt, if, uh, if you're confused about something, throw in the comments box. You never know, I might film a video on it. So um, <laughs> like this one. Uh, so I've got this butternut squash here. And the first thing I look for is a slight color change. Now all squash will change colors. They just change different colors. So like butternut squash will turn from a kind of a light green to more of a creamy yellow. And then in their final phase of ripeness, they'll kind of get like a dusty white color to the exterior of the, of, of the skin. That's just how I can tell when butternut squash are ripe. But you know, acorn squash obviously are like, are like a greenish blue. Um, golden Hubbard squash turn orange. Uh, blue Hubbard squash turn blue. So they will all kind of change certain colors. You just need to know what color they should be when they're, when they're uh, fully mature. And that's kind of when you can start doing a fingernail check. Now, once they start to turn color, I will begin doing a fingernail check. This will not affect the shelf life of the squash. This is just a great way for me to tell the hardness of the skin. Remember, going back to the cheese analogy, I want there to be a hard enough skin to protect this long term. I don't want to bring this in and instantly have it go soft and mushy and, uh, and start to mold on me. The harder the skin, the, uh, the longer the shelf life. So what I'll do is I'll simply pull up a squash that I think is a prime candidate for a fingernail check, and I'll simply take my thumbnail, and I'll just press it in. Now you should not be able to press into the skin. If the skin actually, uh, if, you, if your thumbnail breaks the skin, it's not ready yet. What you want is you want your thumbnail to just leave a mark. So I've got a couple here that are, are at varying stages of ripeness. The whole vine died on me, so if they were ripe, they were ripe. If they weren't, they weren't. It's kind of one of those things. Uh, we had some, a lot of rain and it brought on some early powdery mildew. So I said, you know what? Hey, the plants are done no matter what. So I pulled them all up. Um, and so, yeah, so I did a fingernail check on, on quite a few of these here. And uh, this one here, 
passes the fingernail check with flying colors. So this one you'll notice, I'll take my finger, I'll push in, and I cannot break the skin. I mean, if I push super hard, yes, but with, basically what I like to do is, if you can tell, hopefully you can see this, my fingernail will go, it's normally, underneath the nail, you can kind of tell your fingernails should be kind of a pink color if they're healthy. I'll push hard. When my whole nail turns white, that's basically pushing all the blood from underneath my, my thumbnail. When my thumbnail goes white, from all the blood being pushed away from the pressure, I know I'm pressing hard enough. Hopefully you can see that. White, and my thumbnail did not puncture the skin. My, th my thumbnail goes white from the pressure. My thumbnail did not puncture. Compare that to this squash here, <laughs> which I actually did on video, and it punctures very easily. See that? My thumbnail goes white, and that one's kind of hard right there, but up here, closer to the stem end, it punctures very easily. You can see these spots here. This, uh, this squash is not fully cured yet. Yes, it is starting to turn color, but it's not fully mature. And so you can kind of see that part's, that part's fully cured. That part's fully cured. That part is, but it seems like the further you go up towards the stem end, yep, very, very, uh, very soft skin, not fully mature yet up here. Once they pass the fingernail check all the way up from the bottom to the top of the uh, squash, I'll, I'll take it in. Um, there's no reason to leave it on the vine. So once it gets hard enough skin, it passes. The second thing you look for, like I said, is that color change. We already talked about that. That's kind of a, a surefire way of knowing that the squash is getting ready to harvest, but might not be there yet. The third way you can tell if your squash is getting ready for harvest is the tendrils. These tendrils here, I'll bring you guys in close. You can check this out. The nearest tendril, much like when you're harvesting watermelons, cantaloupes, things like that, these tendrils will turn brown in color. They will turn brown and start to dry up, and that's another way of knowing that your melon or that your squash are ready for harvest. So look for the tendrils to turn brown. And finally, uh, another way that you can tell is that the plant starts to die back. You can leave squash on the vine pretty much until the entire plant dies. Lots of farmers will just leave them in the fields until all their plants are completely dead. Now you do run the risk if you do that of having what's called a uh, skin spot. Now skin spot, I don't see many on here. This has a little bit of skin spot. So this, uh, this kind of rusty colored spot here is skin spot. It can happen, it's a fungus that actually will, uh, will try to eat away at some of the skin uh, on the on the squash, this one will be eating first because of that. But you know you do run the risk of getting some skin spot because when the plants completely die back, that's usually a sign that it's very late in the season. Uh, you know skin spot is also very similar to things like powdery mildew and blight, so it's a, a very similar fungus. And so uh, if you leave your plants, if you leave your your squash in the field until all the plants are completely dead you do sometimes run that risk of the excess moisture in the environment causing some issues uh, with that, but it's not a huge one. So uh, the plants start to die back is the fourth thing you look for. And then the, uh, and then the fifth thing you look for is that the, the vine itself is starting to, uh, or the, the stem end is starting to turn brown. So when the plant is actually feeding the squash, the, the stem will be nice and green. But as it starts to cure, the, the, uh, the squash will start to say, all right, I don't need any more water. I don't need any more nutrients. I'm fully mature. The seeds inside are viable. We're good to go. So that's what you look for. Five ways to tell when your squash are ready. The colors to change. Your thumbnails don't puncture through with you know, moderate pressure. Uh, the stems turn brown. The tendrils turn brown and dry and the plants completely die back or start to die back, uh, start to die back is when you can tell that your squash are ready to harvest. So I hope this really helps. I know that um, you know, it's a shorter video, but uh, you know, it's one of those things that I think really will help a lot of you guys out if you've never grown squash before, winter squash before. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you learned something new and uh, we'll catch you all on the next episode. All right, grumpy gurgle home everyone, bye.